What's going on, Ravens flock? Your Baltimore Ravens have finally made a move. Happy NFL trade deadline day to all of you who celebrate. And Tredavious White is the addition. New cornerback coming to Baltimore from Los Angeles across the entire country, making the move. And uh, excited that you made a move in an area of the football team that desperately needed help. I don't know if this is the guy I would have handpicked. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit. But thanks so much for tuning in. This is Ravens Rundown. I'm your host, Joey Peterson. And I'll tell you this, every single time the Ravens make a move, no matter how big or small, we make a video. So if you haven't already, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Keep us in your YouTube algorithm. You know, this is, uh, this is the best place to be if you're a Ravens fan on YouTube. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Here's what the trade looked like officially. Tredavious White to Baltimore. Also a 2027 seventh round pick. I hear those are incredibly valuable. Uh, and then the Rams receive a 2026 sixth round pick. So the great thing is, is you didn't have to give up much for him, right? Literally just a 2026 seventh round pick. The last pick in the draft, not this next year, but the year after that. Let's talk a little bit more about the guy that you brought in. Get to know Tredavious White, if you will. Five foot nine, so on the smaller side of cornerbacks. Went to LSU, 196 pounds. So far in 2024, he has 12 tackles, zero interceptions, two pass breakups. He did tear his Achilles week four of the 2023 season. Obviously, that sidelined him for the majority of that season. He played the first few, four or five weeks in Los Angeles, and then was a healthy scratch the past few weeks while his agents were trying to find and trade destinations for him. We'll get in more into that in just a little bit. But I want to know from you guys, okay? Because this is the best part about this show. I talk, then you guys talk as well. What is your one word reaction to this move, okay? Then you're about to get hit with a YouTube ad break, and this will be the pinned comment on today's video. So when that ad comes, go ahead, scroll down the comment section, find this for me, and reply with your one word reaction. My one word reaction is, uh, fine. You know, it's like all yesterday, all for the past few weeks, actually, I've been calling on this team and I've been saying, and a bunch of you guys have been agreeing with me, you need to make a splash. Okay. Because it's not like this was last year's team. When you looked at last year's team at this point in the year at the trade deadline, you had one of the best offenses and you had one of the best defenses in the National Football League. That's not it this year. You have one of the best offenses, probably the best offense in the NFL, but you have a bottom 10 defense in the National Football League and a bottom three pass defense in the National Football League. And so you needed to make a splash. I wanted this team to make a splash. And this kind of feels like a pencil dive off the diving board. And I wanted a cannonball off the high dive, okay? And so I'm not necessarily upset about the trade itself. I think what I'm upset about is like, I'm upset more of the trades they didn't make than them making this one, if that makes sense. And if you look at his stats, they're nothing eye-popping, right? So far, four games played in 2024, 12 tackles, nine solo, two pass breakups, almost the exact same statistics in the four games he played last year. Six games before that, a little bit better. 11 games before that, he had a pretty solid season that year, 41 tackles, 27 solo, six pass breakups, and an interception. But again, guys, I just like, I come back to the fact of all the names that we were mentioning over the past few weeks, okay? The Buda Bakers, Aziz Ojolaris, Davius White, right? You're, you're mentioning, or excuse me, Zadarius White. You're mentioning all these big names. And some of them aren't even like that huge. But you're mentioning names that could come in here and make a difference and make a change, okay? I'm not going to be honest with you guys, or I'm not going to lie to you guys. I think there's a chance that if they didn't trade Tredavious White, they might have just cut him, okay? And that hurts for me to hear. Oh, and, and like, again, not mad with the trade itself. I don't think you gave up too much for him. And I, I like the fact that you're trying to do something in this secondary. You're trying to switch up some juju in this secondary. But guys, just like in my opinion, this team needed something bigger, okay? It's plain and simple.
This team needed a bigger name. This team needed a bigger player. This team needed a player that could come in here and just make a difference flat out on the first day he's here, okay? And I don't know what Tredavious White does that for this Baltimore Ravens team, okay? We'll talk more about him, get into more of his statistics, talk a little bit more about this past defense themselves, but I got to give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video, and that is our friends over at Game Time. Game Time is a place to go for the best seats and the lowest prices guaranteed. It's the only only place I go when I'm trying to get tickets to any college football or NFL game. Game Time has a new feature. It's called Game Time Picks, and that makes getting tickets to see your favorite teams play live even easier. Game Time Picks filters out the fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats, so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. The tool highlights the best deals, including great and amazing deals, which are the highest value seats at the time. Game Time Picks also identifies sometimes a super deal, which is the best seat value in the venue. And guys, sometimes I get labeled as someone who is cheap. And I like to say frugal, okay? Frugal sounds a little bit better than cheap to me. But if you find yourself always looking for a good deal like I do... Just use the Game Time app, okay? There are so many great features about it. You get the lowest price guaranteed. The tickets actually get cheaper the closer it gets to kickoff. Again, take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code CHATSPORTS for $20 off. Download Game Time today. What time is it? It is game time. And this is exactly why, okay? Uh, this is exactly why I wanted this to be a little bit bigger swing than it was. Because if you look at where this past def defense ranks across the NFL and all of these statistics, they're bottom six in every single one of them. Yards per game, dead last. Yards per pass, 27th. Pass percentage allowed, 30th. Yards after catch, 30th. Yards after catch over expected, 26, okay? And if you look at what this depth chart is looking at now, right? And and again, I'm not 100% certain that Tredavious White is the guy you throw in there over Nate Wiggins, but you're not going to move Brandon Stevens. You're not going to move Marlon Humphrey, okay? And so with the look at it right now, it's like, fine, this is a fine room. But again, you got to ask yourself the question, did it get much better with this addition? And I don't know the answer to that. I don't think the answer to that is yes, and I've said it a thousand times. You are in the middle. The Baltimore Ravens are in the middle of their Super Bowl window. And this team just flat out is not good enough with this defense, in my opinion, to like be confident in their abilities to compete for a Super Bowl. And did adding Tredavious White make you that much better? I don't think so, okay? And so I wish that Eric DaCosta, John Harbaugh, they went out and they made a, big, a, a bigger splash, okay? Just plain and simple. Now, at the time of filming this video, we still have, what, 14 minutes left on the trade deadline? So there's time to cross your fingers, time to wish and hope, but I think this is it. Okay, I think they're rolling with the guys that they've got, and hey, if Tredavious White works out, that's fantastic. You've seen this Ravens defense take some older guys like a Jadavian Clowney last year, Justin Houston, even a Kyle Van Noy, who many people maybe didn't think their careers were over, but they thought their best days were far in the rearview mirror, and they've had some resurgences. Last year, Jadavian Clowney had his highest sack total, his highest quarterback hit total in his career, and that was what, in like year 10? And so Jadavius White, there's reason to believe that there's a chance he comes in here, and there's a little bit of a resurgence. I don't think there's a huge reason to believe that, but you can have a little bit of hope, okay? And this is what we were talking about earlier with, uh, with his injury status and kind of why he hasn't been playing so much this year. This one coming from Jordan Rodriguez. Hope I'm pronouncing that right, Jordan. She says, White has been a healthy scratch for the last three games. This is from October 26, by the way, so about a week ago. As I wrote about a few weeks ago, there was some regret from Rams that he had to play as many snaps as he did so early on because of injuries plus a delay and adding quality depth. When they signed him, they said that he wouldn't be. Okay, so I don't think he was happy in Los Angeles, and I don't think Los Angeles was necessarily happy with him either. So I think it was a mutual kind of parting of ways. And so, 
If you look at the reason he hasn't played the past few weeks, I think it's easy to go to the stats, go to the game by game and say, wait, he hasn't played since what, late September? Why did we add this guy? Well, he's been a healthy scratch just because they haven't necessarily been seeing eye to eye, okay? So grade this move for me. I'm going to give my grade after this, but go in the comment section down below. Give me an A, B, C, D, or F, and pluses and minuses. Those are, you know, you can do those as well. Get a little bit creative, but let me know in the comment section down below. My grade is uh, it's a B minus, okay? And it would be a C plus, but, like, again, I'm not mad with what she gave up for. That's why it's still in the B range. Now, if, how I, if I had to grade how did this Ravens team do at the trade deadline, I would grade that like a D. But if I'm just grading the trade itself, I'm giving it a B minus, okay? And so I just, again, didn't move the needle for me. Like I said earlier, I wanted a double backflip cannonball off the high dive, and they gave me a pencil dive off of the low diving board, okay? Off of just the poolside diving board. Not what I was looking for, not what I think this team needed. And I would love to be wrong about this. I would love Tredavious White to come in there and just absolutely ball out, dominate, and turn this secondary into a top 15 secondary. I just don't know if that's going to happen, okay? And other news, some, some other news and notes from today. Uh, Jeff Zreback tweeting this just a little bit ago. Brandon Williams has officially announced his retirement as a Raven today. Some awesome pictures of the teammates surrounding him after the post-media or post-practice media. John Harbaugh announced that Brandon Williams was there. Really cool picture. Also, Lamar Jackson uh, didn't practice today, but Harbaugh said in his post-game press conference that he will be practicing on Thursday. This didn't really come as a Surprise, didn't practice pretty much all of last week and went out and had a perfect passer rating on Sunday. All right, that's going to do it for today's episode of Ravens Run. If you guys are still here, it's obvious you like the video, you like the channel, so do one thing for me and hit that sub button.